All right, we're checking out the only game where your job is to give the entire planet tetanus. It's Ink Ink. Ink is a game where you get to make people happy by drawing what they want on their body parts. That's not going to happen. My real question is how much, like how much can you mess this up and then still be okay with it? Wow, hold on. My tattoo gun just fills within the lines, like by itself. I didn't have to do anything. Listen, just trust me on this. I'm giving you a little flare for your bowling ball, okay? The funny part is, is as you draw the stuff, you don't get to see what you're drawing. So I guess that's where the difficulty comes in. Fantastic, ah, the yeet ball. He still loves it. Done. Mmm. That's hot. Awesome. How much do I actually get paid for the yeet ball? $201. I never would have thought that a yeet was worth so much. This guy wants a dagger and he wants the little glistening stars shooting off of it. Again, mainly I'm just, I'm kind of just curious if you build stuff and it's, you know, vaguely reminiscent of what you're looking for. Like if I put like a dead body on this guy's arm, like so, like he's he's not very happy right now, but I, I'm not sure that this means that he won't accept my item in the end. Sorry, man, I'm gonna have to go over one color with another color. I, <laughs> I was making your dagger just like a gleaming white holy dagger, not so much a silver dagger. Let's make the sad eyes over here. Unhappy mouth. He may not like this right now, but I guarantee by the time I'm done with this He's gonna be totally happy with it. Well, I don't know if he'll be happy with it But he'll be paying me and he won't have a choice I know you want stars over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw blood spatter. Just trust me on this It looks awesome. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. There we go. I told you I'd be giving people tetanus It's just the person getting tetanus is on his arm. In fact, we can make this blade look a little bit more tetanusy. There we go Perfect a little bit of rust on the edge there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you. This doesn't look half bad. Yeah, we're gonna finish it. Look at that. Look at the difference right there. 100 times better. Good. <laughs> That's the game. He ends up with an entire human being on his arm and the game's like, yeah, it's good enough. I love that you get to see it as the dude walks out as well. What kind of stuff can I put inside of this place? Oh, I can hire another person to do all the work for me. All right, which one of you looks like you're bad at your job? Okay, very good. What? What is she doing? What is this motion? What is this? What? Why? Stop that. Stop doing that. Do you have a tortoise on your lower abdomen? Is that a tortoise? At first, I thought she was picking her nose and just wiping it on the person inside of the chair. Which seems about par for the course, considering how bad our health regulations are in this place. But I think she's tattooing the invisible man. All right, this girl right here benches big weight. You're on the team. All right, we've got an employee. Can I get like some decor or something around here? Oh, a cabinet for all of my needles. I love that the different tattoo needles are filled with everything from like carrot juice to the blood of the innocent. Oh, this, okay, this looks like a high... A high-profile tattoo job right here. The yin-yang symbol, huh? What if I just give this lady, like, Pac-Man or something? Like, I, I can probably get 90% of this thing done. It's a very unhappy Pac-Man. There's a little Pac-Man eye. Right there. Go over to Phil. Watch this. You ready? Pac-Man coloration. Throw it in there. Does look vaguely like a urine stain inside of this woman. Like on her arm. Since we're doing the yin yang, we'll just do another color here. Here we go. Give Pac Man some stitches. Basically, what happened here is Pac Man had half of his head decapitated, and so a different Pac Man had to be sewed onto this Pac Man. So it's like two halves of a single Pac Man. That is dreadful. <laughs> God. Oh, I can get a tip jar? I don't think anyone's going to be leaving me any tips, though. The only tips that people are going to give me is like quit. Can I have a better chair? I can have a different colored chair. I can get new wallpaper. I love it. Beta carotene orange. We're there. All right, madam, have a seat. What would you like today? Ah, yes. The patented gang sign, the half avocado. Oh, you wanted to have the skin outline too, huh? All right, listen, here's, we got to start making some money here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook you up, okay? Now, right over here, you're going to notice this is the appropriate color. For the avocado, look at that, beautiful, right there. Amazing. Gotta fill in the pit area, like so. Bam! Okay, never mind, the pit area, I, I didn't realize, I thought it was gonna stay inside the line, I was vastly wrong. You know what, just keep filling this out, I feel weird with it, with it not all the way filled. See, when we make mistakes, 
Much like Bob Ross, we can just cover them up. See? It's not my flesh, so what do I care? Now, unfortunately, this means that I'm gonna have to draw your pit here in the middle by hand. Clearly, she's okay with that. I'm getting the thumbs up. Put a little unhappy face on your pit. Here we go. And there, right there. That is the, that is the motto of the Avocado Kill Lords. Kill. Bam. Perfect. Awesome. Two stars for that. <laughs> sure. I want to see it on her arm. Where is it? $168 for that. Oh, that is hot. Beautiful. I need someone with a bigger, that wants like a really big tattoo. So I could just have words. What is this? You want a witch's hat? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is like eight colors more than I'm able to handle, man. There is way too many very sensitive lines on this. All right, look, man, you're asking for way too much. Do you know what happens when you come in here and you ask for the impossible? Well, I was gonna say you get a sad turkey, but my turkey overfloweth. Literally my turkey overfloweth. Ah, uh, oh God. I don't want to use the eraser because if I use the eraser, it gives me an ad. Maybe I can get rid of some of the turkey with this. Okay, this is kind of a train wreck. Right, no problem. The turkey just has a lot of background, okay? Marshmallow turkey. Well, now it just looks like part of a turkey stuffed between two sandwich slices. I feel so sorry about this. Here's some sad turkey legs. There you go. It's a turkey dual wielding 400 pound bags of flour. You're welcome. It took forever to load the image on the screen, which is amazing. The game is like, there's so much garbage inside of this picture. I, just, I struggled to put it on the screen. God, this turkey looks unhappy. I got zero money for that. <laughs> oh, wear it with pride, man. <laughs> All right, we have a, there's like a stewardess or something coming in here. I would like a dollar sign, please. Where is this dollar sign? Where is this going? Is this going on here like your calf or something? She's like, yes, I would like the dollar sign on my deltoid, please. I feel like we could do so much more than just a dollar sign. Not that I'm not going to give you a dollar sign, I absolutely am. But here, here, here's what we'll do, watch this. See, all you want is just a dollar sign, but we can do... I like that she doesn't really seem that unhappy about this. Usually when you mess this up, there's like a giant unhappy face. She really doesn't care. You now have the power of Dollar Bill Satan. There it is. Yeah. Satan. Good. Big money Satan. I got two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. Oh, that was her forearm. She got it. Okay. I just noticed that my tattoo machine is literally called the noob, the mermaid, the unicorn, Hot Rod, Queen Bee, God almighty, Cat Master. What? Oh, this one clearly has the most tetanus in it. All right, with a brand new gun, I'm ready to roll. Now, I know that you're gonna want something probably very particular, like this musical note, but I've decided that what we're going to do is all of you are going to become my experimentation. I'm going to tell a story through all of you. All of you are only going to get part of the story, but should a bunch of you ever stand together, you can put your tattoos together and you will learn the truth in life. Right here, it begins. There is a stick man that looks vaguely reminiscent to Elvis, and we have a stick woman over here. Don't ask me why she's so boobified. It's really just because I'm terrible at drawing that was supposed to be her arms. Oh, that is, that's a good putt. Okay, so we've got to start. There's the meeting. Everything's going fine. Okay, this, what is this? What do you want? It was like a bottle of ketamine or something? I'm not drawing illegal substances on your arm, good sir. It's like some sort of witch's brew. Anyway, our boy over here, Stickman Romeo, takes his girlfriend out on his sailboat. As you do. The sad little sail over there. I just want to let you know, sir, I'm going all the way. I'm even going to draw some water. Look at this. That right there is big. Here's a sun. Wow. That is probably my best drawing that I've done yet. Anyway, Jack, Stick, and Stabitha over here go out on their sailboat. It's a beautiful date. The water's calm. Everything's going great. He's probably getting ready to ask her to marry him. Now, the only issue with this relationship is that Stabitha found out that Jack, Stick had $2 million in Carnival Cruise Line shares. So right after the marriage was finalized, it's time for her to get the stabbings in here. Get the little stick lady arm. That looks beautiful. Down comes the blade of destiny. I'm even gonna go so far as to like draw his shares of money 
just flying out of his body as she ruthlessly murders him during their boat ride. It's kind of like GTA, you know? When you kill someone and just the money pops out of them right there. For continuity, here's some water again. Can't forget about the sun. I didn't really plan it this way. It's not so much a dagger that she's stabbing him with. It's like a scimitar. <laughs> this lady came in for a hat and gets a scene of betrayal and murder on her arm. Oh God, yes. <laughs> I used all the colors though, notice. Do you notice that? I did use the yellow, I used the blue for the water, and I used the green for the money popping out of him. So everything that she asked for technically is there. All right, where did this go? Yes! All right, you're gonna get, you're gonna get the, the climax of this tale over here. What do you want? You want a four-leaf clover? All right, now this is very difficult, okay? Because right now what I need to draw is Stabatha throwing Jack's body out of the boat, just kind of yeeting him into the water with the carp. Ah, yes. The long, blonde, flowing locks. The last thing he saw before his net worth dropped to zero. I gotta make sure to give him his fantastic mullet. There we go. Stabatha is over here. She says, yeet. It's like a full comic page, to be honest with you. I should charge like twice as much for this as normal. I'm actually gonna leave the blade in him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real. It's just better to get rid of the evidence with the guy. There we go. I know you're asking like, great, why is the sun on the other side right now? It's because the day, you know, time has passed, okay? See, the sun is uh, setting, it's setting in the west. See? As per normal. There we go. She has now dis disposed of the body. It is over the side of the boat. Whatever happened to Gloria Stabatha? after her murder fest. Oh, look at this girl. She's on her cell phone. She's not even paying attention. I'm gonna get to do whatever I whatever I want for the tattoo. She won't be able to complain because she won't know what's happening. It's supposed to be like a dot sit or something like that with a heart. That's not gonna happen. No, no, instead I have to, I have to draw Stab with a sweet ride over here. Doesn't want to get pulled over, so she's gonna have both hands on the steering wheel. Dollar bills are gonna be fluttering from her as she drives off into the sunset in her fantastic dollar store Lamborghini because it's pretty much all I can make. Here's the sun. It's getting real low in the sky. This is easily my most elaborate tattoo. I decided that Jack's brother James was gonna try and get vengeance for his death, but she ended up just running him over. Hold on here. Here's one shoe. The other shoe flew off of his body because of how hard he was struck by the car. I think this is quite the tale. This, is, this should teach everyone why you never go on a boat with someone who you just got married to. Right there. Again, it takes forever to load because there's so much to the scene. Imagine trying to explain this to a friend. They're like, what did you get done to your arm? Oh, it's like, oh yeah, it's my brother's killer ex-wife. She just got done killing him, and here she is running me over with her sports car that she bought with his money. Regardless of everything that I've done, the game is still, like, good. Also, real quick, how come my one tattoo artist is six times larger than the other humans that she works on? This is the oddest thing. I just went to the hiring section. I noticed that the employee I bought is a giant. Well, if those four people ever get together, they'll have an award-winning literary piece on all their arms. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Ink, Ink. Until the next time, stay foxy. Much love.